had supporter of Stop the War Coalition and have been since the very beginning. And you'll remember the beginnings of Stop the War Coalition, where we all came together in our hundreds of thousands to oppose the intervention in Iraq. And that must be the lesson that we learn. The devastation in Iraq, the chaos of civil war in Libya, the many, many atrocities that US and UK imperialism has inflicted across the Middle East in particular. That must be the lesson that we learn when we come together and oppose attacks in Iran as well. And just last week, it looked almost inevitable that the US was going to launch an attack on Iran, didn't it? It looked absolutely like it was going to happen. But we cannot, we cannot trust Trump. Just look at the way that he's dealt with North Korea. Who knows what's going to happen? With the people that he has around him, like John Bolton, with the allies that the US and the, US, the UK keeps, with Saudi Arabia and Israel itching to go to war, itching to start this war. So we cannot take anything for granted. And the, the real threat that we see in terms of a potential war in Iran, it does not reflect the numbers that are here today. We need to build a much bigger movement, a much bigger opposition to this potential war. So please, as Lindsay said, get out into your communities, your workplaces, your schools, colleges and universities. <coughs> Spread the word. Tell people to get involved and stop the war. <coughs> Tell people to make sure that the next demonstration that we have, because there is a real threat, we must make sure that it is much, much bigger, much better supported. And people need to be aware of the real threat that is upon us. So thank you very much. Please keep up the fight. And as Artin said, we must keep building towards that Labour government led by Jeremy Corbyn, who has, from the beginning, had the right position on this. People like Jeremy Hunt may want to laugh at him and say that he's wrong, but he's right to warn of, of chaos in Iran, just like he was right to support Stop the War Coalition from day one on Iraq as well. Thank you, comrades. Keep up the fight.